Hey Gemini, how's it going? It's Ashley from Serendipity Tarot. I hope you guys are doing well. This is your general love reading for September 2021 for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. We're going to see what's going on with you guys. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Um, if you resonate with this reading, do check out your bonus extended How Does Your Person Feel, Gemini? What's going on behind the scenes? Um, all the clarity is there. And um, Gemini, I also have a 10% off going on for my uh, Labor Day sale. Everything from my tarot oracle decks to my personal readings. So check it out if you're interested. All right. So Gemini, stick around to the end. I have the Ask the Universe. I'm bringing it back. So think of three yes or no questions. And at the very end, I'm going to get to those questions. Okay. We're going to ask the universe. Let's jump right in. I'm going to start off with the oracle cards today. This is from the Epiphany. All right. This is um, available in my Etsy shop. Okay. As well, this deck. All right, so Gemini, first off, we have choosing the right path for us. So someone here in your life, Gemini, may be trying to make a decision about you and them. There's something about making a better decision, choosing the right path. So there's someone that may want to move forward with you, Gemini, and they know they have a choice to make. We have a reconciliation is coming. So some of you guys, if you're wanting to reconcile with someone, maybe someone you've had a falling out with or there's been some conflict, there's someone who may certainly want to reconcile with you as well, okay? We have reconciliation coming. All right, and we have hard to say goodbye, hard to say goodbye. So we have the key, um, I'm sorry, the, the, the locket, the heart locket necklace. So there's someone who obviously still... Um, has your heart, you have their heart. There's someone who may have walked away from you, Gemini. There's someone who may not be in your life right now. Um, and they're having a difficult time shutting that door, right? Kind of like the Eight of Cups in reverse. This is someone who may want to come back because they still have these strong feelings for you. And they're having a difficult time really, truly letting go and parting ways with that. All right. So let's see what we need to know for Gemini's. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you know when I upload, okay? <laughs> All right, Gemini, what's the current energy for my Geminis out there? We have the wheel, ace of swords in reverse, and we have the three of cups in reverse, okay? So, yeah, there's someone here that you're definitely not talking to. There's a lack of communication. There's a lack of clarity as to where you stand with them. I do feel like there was some kind of falling out with the three of cups in reverse, and you guys are not in union right now. But I also see some kind of big change taking place here with the world card. Um, I'm sorry, the wheel card. There's something that's moving in your favor, Gemini, with regard to this separation, okay? Let's see what the recent past is. In the recent past, we have the Knight of Wands, we have the Queen of Pentacles, and we have the Seven of Wands in reverse. In the recent past, it looks like someone here really wanted stability, really wanted commitment. But I'm also getting that someone was kind of taking their time or not taking this connection very serious. I feel like this is someone who was unwilling to fight for this connection. Okay, I'm getting a very in and out inconsistent energy coming down with the Leo Sag Aries, but I get the sense that this person didn't really know what they wanted and they were not willing to move forward with you. There could have been a lot of guards up, okay, or someone not trusting of this connection. Let's see what's on your mind, Gemini. On your mind, we have the Ten of Swords, we have the Nine of Cups, and we have the Seven of Pentacles. A lot of you guys is telling me that your focus right now is investing in yourself, investing in the situations that are really good for you, that are going to bring abundance to your life. The Nine of Cups, a lot of you guys are putting yourself and your needs first. You're doing what makes you happy. And there's something here that um, you're closing out. Some of you guys are having to close out a cycle with someone or completely like detach or let them go, even for the time being, in order to get to this Nine of Cups energy, okay? Okay, in order to make you happy, there's something about you having to do something for yourself because something here could have been very difficult to deal with, de very devastating. I'm getting someone could have abandoned you or betrayed you in some way. And I'm seeing a lot of you guys, you have nothing to do but to um, do, do what's best for you, which is make yourself happy and invest in another situation or invest in yourself. We're going to find out more about what that is all about. All right, Gemini, what's in the foundation? What are you not aware of? What are you not seeing? We have the Nine of Swords in reverse. We have the Emperor in reverse. We have the Six of Cups in reverse. And we have the King of Cups in reverse. Let's get one more here. Knight of Pentacles, okay, in reverse. So I'm seeing here 
Gemini, there is definitely someone who's in their head about you, a lot of anxiety and worries, and I feel like this is the same person who's having a difficult time moving on. The Six of Cups is indicating that this is someone who is definitely thinking about reconciliation, but they may feel like you feel some kind of way about it. They may feel like you're not interested or you've kind of really moved on, okay? There's someone here who may want to take action towards you, but I'm getting they don't have a plan of action on how to go about doing it. And I'm getting that this is someone that, um, yeah, is really stressed because they may feel like like you don't love them anymore. They may feel like, again, you don't have love or you don't care about them. And there's something about you letting go, okay? At least emotionally detaching from this situation. I feel like this is someone who may want to come in to bring some balance or restore harmony to this connection. Um, but again, this is someone who feels a little bit lost in how to come back in your life, okay? So let's see um, what else we need to know in the outcome. We have the moon card, Piscean energy. We have the temperance in reverse, Sagittarian energy, and the two of pentacles in reverse. What it's telling me as far as the outcome that something here may need to be dropped. We're going to find out what needs to be dropped because it's telling me that whatever is um, happening right now, it's, it's telling me that there's there's a lot of secrets, there's a lot of unknowns, and there's a lot of uncertainties. And I'm getting someone that may be feeling somewhat, um, you know, like they, they, they can't seem to wrap their head around this connection or some kind of imbalance here within this connection. And I feel like there's something here that may have to be sacrificed or let go in order for something to move forward. We're going to see what this is all about. We're going to see what that secret is. Okay. There may be something that's still being hidden that may be making this decision to drop something difficult. Okay. Some of you guys are thinking about dropping this connection, but it's almost like you don't, you just don't know. Okay. There's a lot of uncertainties, the temperance inverse. You're not really in alignment with yourself or you're still questioning something here. Okay. So let's get some more clarity for you guys, Gemini. If this is your reading, like, share, comment, subscribe. Your extended will be up on Vimeo. Gemini in love. Now, the wheel is moving in the right direction, okay? Um, tell me more about the wheel. Why is the wheel moving in the right direction for Gemini? There's something here that you um, may not be expecting, we have the two of wands, we have the page of pentacles, and we have the four cups in reverse. A lot of you guys is telling me that when you decide to pull back from someone, there's some kind of breakup here or separation you're going through. And when you do that, it's telling me that there's someone here who may feel like they've missed an opportunity here with you with the four cups. There's a lot of disappointment as to how something happened or the way something went in the past. It's also telling me there could be someone who wants to reach out to you. It could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but there's a lot of indecisiveness. I'm also seeing there's a lot of indecisiveness or unclear. Uh, or uncertainty, okay, a lack of clarity because someone has not been um, talking or there may have been a lack of communication here. And so I'm seeing that someone may want to reach out, but they may feel as if, um, Gemini, you don't want to hear from them or they don't know how to communicate with you, okay? Tell me more about the Ace of Swords in verse. I'm getting some of you guys may have blocked this person. Ace of Swords clarified by the Ace of Pentacles, the Six of Cups in reverse, and the Lovers in reverse. I'm getting some something here, Gemini, where you may have decided to move on to something more fulfilling. Some of you guys it could have been a new relationship. Maybe you started a new job. Maybe you moved to a new home. And there's something here about you turning your back on a connection here with the lovers in verse. Some of you guys, you felt this person turned their back on you, so you had no choice. But what it's telling me is that there's a lot of memories that you guys still think about each other. The Six of Cups, even though you guys are away from each other, like in terms of... Um, you know, distance, maybe a lot of physical and emotional distance, you still connected to each other. You're still constantly thinking about the good times and memories of the past with the Six of Cups. So definitely a very strong connection, even though you guys are not talking. Um, let's see what's going on in the recent past. In a recent past, we have the Knight of Wands, someone which is very inconsistent. And I'm getting that's why some of you guys, you felt like this person wasn't really um, fighting for this connection. We have the world, we have the hermit, and we have the chariot. Some of you guys is telling me that you may have made a decision because you felt that, you know, it was needed. A lot of you guys, you did a lot of thinking. You weren't going within the hermit. You guys had to spend a lot of time and really questioning this connection, right? There was a lot of things you questioned about this connection. And I feel ultimately you guys wanted a victory. And a lot of you guys I'm getting, you may have picked a new direction for yourself. You may have decided, you know what, I'm going to move forward. And a lot of you guys, you had mind on being this queen of pentacles, settling down, finding the right person that you can move forward with. And a a lot of you guys is telling me you didn't let this person stop you. So I do feel you guys are picking a new direction because this is someone who's very inconsistent. And, you know, I'm getting they were all about themselves, okay? It could be a cancer here you were dealing with. Tell me more about this Queen of Pentacles. 
the Four of Pentacles came out with the shadow side in reverse. A lot of you guys is telling me that you, um, you know, there's something about you holding back, you guarding your heart from this person, you holding back, you not investing in the situation with this person, and you made them go through some kind of dark night of the soul energy. This is someone who's now facing some kind of, you know, um, they're going through some kind of dark period with the shadow side because you may have decided to pull back and take back your energy, okay? A lot of you guys, by doing that, that's allowing things to move in your favor, okay? We got the world. We got the wheel. Things are changing. There's some kind of big enlightenment or breakthrough. I'm getting your person is realizing how much you truly um, meant to them and what your worth is. We have the Ace of Pentacles. We have the Four of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles. A lot of you guys, you're worth so much more, and I'm getting you, you didn't, this person didn't see it. <laughs> this person didn't treat you like you were worth it. So tell me more about the Nine of Cups. A lot of you guys are doing what makes you happy. Nine of Swords, the Eight of Cups, and the Death. A lot of you guys, what makes you happy is walking away from the situation and putting an end to it. That's what you had to do to find your happiness. And walking away has really literally made you happy. The Nine of Cups, you're doing something that you want to do and you're letting, you're, you're releasing yourself from this really difficult time you know difficult energy the nine of swords this is something you've been having a lot of anxiety and worries about and then once you did it i'm getting immediately you put an end to a situation and you felt relief there's something about you finally finding your happiness doing something that you actually wanted to do okay and it's not something i'm getting you didn't really want to do but you felt you needed to do and it's bringing so much happiness back to your life okay so you can be dealing with a scorpio let me see what's going on in your person's energy. We have the Emperor, okay? We have the Six of Cups and the Nine of Swords. Tell me more about this um, this person. I'm getting they're missing you a lot, but they're very anxious about something. Why? Two of Swords in reverse, the Nine of Cups and the Seven of Wands in reverse. A lot of you guys, I'm getting that they wish they had made better decisions, okay? There's some kind of decision that they made in the past they wish they had done better because this is someone who may want to come toward you with the Knight of Cups. They may want to profess and tell you how much they care about you. There's also an apology here. I'm getting this person wants to pursue you to apologize, but I also feel like there's a lot of guards. Maybe you're blocking them or you're not letting them in. And so a lot of you guys, there's something here about them making a better decisions or wanting to make a decision, but they feel Feel like they can't there's something that's preventing them from coming through tell me more about this um be a cancer pisces scorpio ten of cups is coming out the six of swords in verse with the six of pentacles in reverse a lot of you guys is telling me this person is not able to move on without you okay this is someone here who may decide to to no longer be giving to other situations maybe they had issues with giving to other people showing them attention entertaining other options this is someone who's realizing that they can't be happy without you and so in order to be happy again you know they, they need to come back toward you there's the energy of them wanting to go into calmer waters with you and making peace with the past okay Okay, but also um, better catering to your needs. Okay, there's energy of catering to your needs and doing um, what they should have been doing in the past, which was not, um, you know, investing in other people and just investing in you and them okay so i feel like this is definitely someone who wants to return and they want to offer love with the knight of cups tell me more about the knight of pentacles and verse and maybe something here that they're having doubts or they can't come in just yet the four, five of cups, the queen of pentacles, and the knight of wands. Okay, so we had the queen of pentacles coming out earlier. Um, I'm getting a lot of you guys, you're very intimidating to this person. They may come towards you with this knight of wands energy, but that isn't going to work, okay? I'm getting a lot of you guys, you have matured. You know what you want. You're standing on your throne. You are very stable. You're very abundant, and you're not messing with any knight energy. So a lot of you guys, this that may cause a delay in this person coming towards you because they're not on your level yet. They're not, they're still not taking this connection serious enough and i do feel like this is someone who has a lot of regrets a lot of regrets and remorse about how they treated you but i also feel like they're, they're intimidated now to come towards you because you guys are on the rise you guys are glowing you guys are accomplishing a lot in your life there's something that you're investing in tell me more about the seven of pentacles what is gemini investing in right now there's something you're putting your time and energy to King of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles, ooh, and the Magician. Some of you guys, you're a magician, like you're you're manifesting someone who is um, a hard worker. You're, you're you're manifesting someone into your life. It could be someone who is like your divine counterpart. I'm getting some of you guys are connecting perhaps with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or someone here that maybe you met at work. But there's a lot of stability. There's a lot of great potential for growth and long term stability. I'm getting this is someone you've been spending a lot of time with, or this could be someone here that is helping you um, make 
make more money. Okay, there may be someone coming in. It could be a Gemini. Oh, it could be your gem energy, right? Gemini. Um, a lot of you guys, you're, you're definitely dealing with maybe another Gemini or someone coming into your life who's going to help you make more money, find more uh, financial stability, grow. I'm just getting a lot of good energy here. And there's something that's really going to bring a lot of financial um, abundance to your life, okay? As far as the outcome, there's still a lot of uncertainties. There's still some secrets here. And a lot of you guys, you may be having a difficult time letting go something completely because there's still something unknown. Tell me more about the moon card. The moon is the sun, the tower in reverse, the high priest in reverse, and the king of cups. So there's something here that you guys don't know about this Cancer Pisces Scorpio, strong Scorpio energy. We also got Leo. I feel a lot of you guys, you're still not clear as to why they broke a commitment with you, why they left you devastated, why they betrayed you. Um, I'm getting a lot of you guys, there's something here that you may not become clear about, but you will heal from, okay? The sun is healing, okay? It may provide you with some clarity in a sense of how to move forward, but I'm getting the answers from this person you may not get entirely because I'm getting this is someone who just like brought disaster to everything that they touched okay there's really no reason why they acted the way they did why they weren't able to commit why they were very secretive okay i'm just getting the energy of your person here they just they just were like that and i'm getting a lot of you guys there's something about you trying to make a decision trying to figure out why they did what they did but i'm getting healing there's healing taking place and it's going to allow you to let it go it's going to allow you to release this anyway so it doesn't even matter why this person did what they did but what i'm seeing is that you're avoiding a tower moment you're avoiding a great disaster. You're avoiding um, going through this again with this person because I'm getting this person has still a lot of work to do. They love you. They have a lot of care for you, but I'm also feeling they need to love themselves a little bit more because if they love themselves, they wouldn't treat other people like that. Okay, so that is what I'm seeing can be done with the Sagittarius as well. So Gemini, that is what I have for you guys. Um, if you enjoyed this reading, please do give me a like, share, comment, and subscribe if you want more readings. And I'm going to get to the Acts of the Universe, okay, as promised. So think of three yes or no questions, and I'm going to pull them out and get your questions answered, okay? Do check out your bonus extended on Vimeo if you're interested. All right, Gemini, what is your first question you want to ask the universe? Let's see. Manifest what you want, Gemini, because you are the great magician, okay? Manifest it, honey. <laughs> All right, what is your second question? Okay, this one to come out. Don't doubt yourself. Don't doubt yourself, okay? That's what it says, so don't doubt it. What is your third question, Gemini's? Boop, okay. I know y'all love the sound effects, right? Take the blindfold off. Take the blindfold off. There may be something here you're not seeing, and Spirit says take that blindfold off. All right, let's get one more because I'm loving it. I'm loving it. All right, this is the fourth question. Indeterminate, indeterminate. So cannot be determined, <laughs> basically. All right, Gemini, this deck is on Etsy if you guys are interested. I hope you guys have a great week. Bye.